Fiddler Toasted Weeded. Yeah, this was uh, recommended by Bradley. Bradley gave me the uh, Fiddler Weeded. He said, why don't you try the Toasted? Found it, bought it. Here we go. Hey, it's Matt Bourbon Mattress 2020. Today's review is going to be on Fiddler Toasted Weeded Bourbon. To be exact, it's Fiddler Toasted Straight Bourbon Whiskey, finished in toasted barrels. Toasted. Toasted. This is a weed of bourbon. This thing here, I did it on a live stream a few weeks back. The guy that actually referred me mentioned this saying was on there and he loved it. I did a review. He wanted me to do it right off the get-go. I had a great conversation with everyone on the chat. Thank you. I try, I'm going to try and do uh, live, feed, uh, live streams at least every two weeks. So whatever the old lady, if she's out of town, not bothering me, not up my ass, not fucking turning the screws on me, I will do it. So, if I, you know, when we get it out of the way early, like, subscribe, hit the bell. I'm wearing the same shirt. Son of a bitch, same shirt. From the last review, I'm doing a few of these things. I got one more after this. So this thing here, Fiddler, I'm gonna pour me a little drink. Get my drink on. Hopefully, you know, I don't know, I got some shirts out here that can upset people. I like to do that because you know, anytime you get a chance to fuck with a liberal, it is so much fun. All right, I'm gonna change my shirt. Hopefully I can find one that, that, that pisses them off. Hang on. All right, back with you. This is the closest I got to upset, you know, the, the, the woke DI pussies in this world. So if you're, you know, and I'm not talking about my subscribers, I'm talking about the people that are passing through that just want to get uh, triggered. I think the word is triggered. Triggered? Yeah, so. I'm gonna run down the spreadsheet on Fiddler Toasted Weed of Bourbon Whiskey, ASW Distillery out of Atlanta, Georgia. This uh, age five years, nine months. Charred one, toast heavy. That's probably what the barrel is. 75 bucks, I paid 75 bucks. Age five years, nine months, charred. Okay, I already did that. Mash bill, 51 corn, 45 wheat, and four mountain barley. Varying barrels of char and toast. So what they're doing is they're getting their stuff. This stuff uh, comes out of Indiana. You know, probably MGP or Rasa Script. Whatever the fuck you call them, it's MGP. You're never gonna be able to change the name with me. They, this is batch 23-001. Um, they probably ship it down. They put in their chars, toast, do their thing, let it sit and wait, do whatever. You know, let it, let it gain some more flavors. Taste it and go, we like this. Or keep it in there longer. Make it work. Make mother nature work this barrel. On the nose, I'm gonna get this thing going here. Oh, I get raspberry, vanilla, and cream brulee on the nose. This is actually good. Hair bit oak, hair bit, just a hair. All right, to the palate, here we go. I'm getting cherry, a little bit of the graham cracker, not the cinnamon gra graham cracker that I wanted, but the graham cracker, which is probably 20 cents cheaper when I was a kid, that my mom got. So the plain graham cracker in there. And it's, you can, you can, it's toasted. It's, it's toasted because you get, you know, with the toasted from what I get, I get the marshmallow. I get, I'm getting some marshmallow on there. I'm gonna, and like a cake. It's like a cake type, almost like a cake batter almost. And this thing's dark. This is like super, super dark because it's toasted. Compared to anything else, this is probably twice as dark when it comes to the, uh, the color of it. So, you know, it's been sitting for a while with heavy toasted barrels. All right, I'm gonna take another sip on this thing. I'm gonna stack this one more time. Like I said, this is going to be down and dirty because I'm trying to, because I did this on a live feed and I wanted to get it out there so you guys can view a, a five minute, six minute uh, review on it. So hopefully it's consistent with whatever you can compare. If I'm making shit up, I could be fucking lying to you like it's no one's business. All right. It's proof. Proof is 120.6. You do get a little bit of that proof. But when I went to go take a sip, I inhaled, got a bunch of cherries on there. But in the beginning of the palate, you get that cherry and the graham cracker out the front there. And it just kind of hangs for a little bit as it starts kind of working your way back. It's like, I'm a little dark, coating, thick, rich, mouthful. And it kind of rolls into like a little marshmallow, but it's a light marshmallow with a sprinkle of cherry on there. 
cake and it's kind of like you know kind of blend that marshmallow with a little brown sugar and a vanilla but it's it's now that it's kind of sitting back there it's turning into a lot of vanilla maple like maple syrup so all right, i think i got one more sip out of this thing and i'll give you the palette and finish and wrap this baby up now stacking it it's becoming a little more subtle on the proof proof ain't you know i'm not tasting the proof as much but it's it's you know the cherry i inhaled right before i took a sip got the cherry and so it's and then in front of the palates it's it's cherry graham cracker you, you taste the thickness of the toast which kind of rolls into the marshmallow and then it kind of goes into like a cake i'm doing like a and then it just kind of mid palates like a brown sugar and vanilla bomb and some maple and it kind of just sits back there it's long this this the finish is just still hanging out and the finish is basically vanilla brown sugar oh excuse me and some just it's sweet it's like a cake it's like a cake batter but not too overpowering of a cake batter it's kind of like a cake that's not all the way baked and so it's got some soft cake in there and it's just kind of just settles but the, the finish is just hanging out it's hanging it's running it's on a marathon run to the finish so so is this a definite buy you know that for a craft yeah, I call them craft. Craft Distilleries this is out in Atlanta, Georgia. This thing is great. These guys are doing a great job, and I, I think as a as a top dog distillery, you know, you make the stuff that makes you money, the consistency of what you make. But with the craft distilleries, they're blending, they're doing stuff to bring out different flavors than the normal. The normal's not bad. The normal's good. You know, like Buffalo Trace, anything you get out of Buffalo Trace is going to taste good. But it has that Buffalo Trace, the Buffalo leather taste to it. You know, you know, Wild Turkey, Knob Creek, uh, Maker's Mark, uh, what else? You know, the other big names. Barton's, you got, oh, um, Heaven Hill. You got, you know, they got their specific flavors that people like specific flavors in their palates. And that's their go-to regardless. This, I think it's more of changing things up bringing out some other different you know other flavors just expanding your palate that's what they're doing and this thing here it's you know i love the weeded i've already finished that i can't compare them but this thing is got you know this is basically the weeded sweet with the marshmallow and the brown sugars and the vanillas for a 75 dollar bottle this is a definite buy i'd even pay 100 bucks for this thing you can see these things online you know sealbox has them you know if they don't you know, you put out, hey, notify me if, you, if this comes in, grab it. It's worth it, you pay for the shipping. So this thing is the definite buy. If you find it, get it. If you know, grab one. If not, you know, grab two if you can. It's that good. It's a great bottle. I was only able to get one. If I see one out there again, I'll definitely buy it. So, hey, I'm at. I'll talk to you later.